against Kazuma. But if you can't find your openings, you're not going to do damage. If you aren't going to do, dam do damage, you're not going to kill him. Sonic struggles to kill, ironically. Yeah, no, that's that's actually um, that's true. But they're going to start FD, FD here, which is very interesting. <laughs> I know this is Omic Bob's. I don't know if it's his favorite stage, but he really likes going to FD. Yeah. And so this is a really good Sonic stage. And um, I mean, obviously, FD Kazuya, we know about the, the lore. <laughs> and we know how tough it can be. But so far, I mean, a little bit of a Ouija lead. We'll see what happens, though. And this is the thing. You now have to, you're forced to play footsies against an FTC character like Kazuya, who can just... You know, touch you once, and all of a sudden, you're at 80%. You, you know, yeah. push comes to shove, you're at kill percentage, and you die. Because, again, you're Sonic. You're not really the heaviest. So, this is definitely going to be a patient, uh, you know, play style from both players. But, of course, these are just getting ready to throw out that electric god face. Yeah, we are already seeing them just kind of shuffle back and forth. Just trying to, like, figure out each other's movement. Like, we are really seeing some super patient gameplay. Nearly one minute off the clock, and you're only seeing 50% of these. Yeah, it really is just who can get their, uh, you know, reads, get their, uh, find those opportunities to deal damage first. Right now, I mean, both players at pretty much equal percentage, and it's only going to be like that for the entirety of the set. Yeah, for sure. It is going to be really close, and it's going to be a bit of a war of attrition as well. Mm -hmm. We, I mean, these combos, if you're not getting them perfectly, you're going to be left trying to get these KOs on Sonic. Yeah. And, uh, it might be tough on both sides, Ooh. but the jab, okay. Gonna get a little KO there. Um, let's see how Omnibob can respond. Um, you have a lot of edge guarding. I'm curious to see if capitalize on that. Yeah, th but the thing is, like, Kazuya has a very, very good recovery for a character that yeah. feels so, you know, sluggish. And yeah. especially a heavy like that, of course, you know, the freaking Demon Wings. Is gonna, you're gonna see Weezer come back from so deep of, you know, of a blast. Run, but yeah, I feel like Kazuya's recovery is like fake bad <laughs> like it seems exploitable just by just the general linearity of it but because of Kazuya's really high jump because of um I think a little bit of the like, invincibility or armor and the, the active hitbox has box. yeah and the hitbox like it is actually kind of tough edge guarding Kazuya oh but the stage pack okay finally gets the thumb but <laughs> they're not, oh, I not lied. yet <laughs> but yeah but um this is looking very good for Weezer who just was able to get that KO and is just kind of running away with this lead. Yeah, and, and, and you know, talking oh, about Reed's go. finally going to take that stock, but when one of these players has the lead and has the stock taken, it's literally just going to be either Obic Bob waiting out his opponent or Weezer literally doing the same thing because, again, Weezer's just going to look for that opening. You see that miss yep. dash attack and gets the up B and gets that kill. That's what Kazuya does so well is just finding out, finding these little opportunities and just picking at his opponent. Yeah, find those little opportunities and be able to get these confirms. And we're seeing it right now, man. Up a stock, you know the vibes. Well, down a stock at this point for Omic Bob, but <laughs> it, it, it's interesting because now we, he's... Weezer's winning, too, is what I'm saying as well. Mm -hmm. Like, he's got every reason to just kind of sit back and just kind of chill. And if Omic Bob tries to overextend, then he can just get that fun. Yeah, but you're, you're talking about waiting. It, it, it's definitely different when you're playing, you know, a patient character like... Sonic, or even Toon Link, you know, any of That's these donors, true. compared to a character like Kazuya, who really thrives off of the action of battle, you know? That's so, true. it's definitely going to be something if Weezer can just play patiently and just wait out on Bob. There's no reason for Weezer to really get in. You're so up close for, you know, kind of no reason. Yeah, but I mean, so far, Omic Bob hasn't been able to get too much out of these little neutral wins. Mainly just getting a little bit of hit from the side beam. Yeah. And we're not seeing, like, that much come from these neutral I think is the key for Weezer to getting a set win. Just like making sure Omic Bob not capitalize on this. Literally. Right now, Weezer's doing a very good job at that. Gets punished with the forward smash. That, that hitbox is crazy, right? That, that thing yeah. hits everywhere. And that's one That's one of the times where you don't really want to be doing the classic Elite Smash Kazuya option of ledge jump side beat. You know what I mean? <laughs> the classic. It's a, very, it's a very valid option, obviously, but. With that big punch that Sonic has, it, you know, it's a little bit risky to do, and he's going to try and go for it again to get that heat. I know oh. that's one of Comic Bob's favorite KO options. Yeah, we, we call, you used to call Comic <laughs> Bob going for the uppy with Tomb Link, just the Comic the Bob itself. But <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, again, this is definitely something that Comic Bob is going to work on. Gets the read, and I mean. The Bobby Punch. <laughs> the Bobby Punch. The there. bob and weave, if you make it. <laughs> the bob and weave is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got to trademark that. That's crazy. The bob and weave. Oh, my God. I got to tell Omic Bob that after this set. <laughs> <laughs> but it is actually last stock. Omic Bob's done a good job of Ooh. not taking too much damage. 
And here we go, man. This is great. Even for Sanchez, actually. Two minutes on the clock. I don't even think this is going to go at time. No, definitely not. Especially if you're on McBob. Because now you got to find this damage. And, I mean, if you can't kill Kazuya, you just got to take off as much damage as possible without, uh, you know, tanking some of your own. Yeah, for sure. Again, some of these reads on these rolls. And I think that's something that Abin Bob is reading these grounded options that we see. Uh oh. But, uh oh. I mean, uh, Sonic's going to recover from that, obviously, because he's got Ooh, very good recovery. Shot, yeah. But for some characters, that is a very bad sign. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> <A little> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But for uh, for Amig Bob, it's uh, not too bad. Sonic's got a very nice recovery, and Amig Bob is very good at recovery. Trying to get some of these forward smash reads, but just not able to get it. Yeah, it is really just Omic Bob trying to read these grounded options. You know, catching out these spot dodges, these random rolls from Weezer. Yeah. Trying to anticipate a move from Omic Bob. That's just not happening. And Omic Bob, of course, needs to get in and deal a little bit more damage because we're winding down to the last 60 seconds of this first match. Yeah, it might actually go a time now that I think about it. We are nearly at a minute left. <laughs> it has been a war of attrition, but it's 20%. It's only 20%. One F smash is all it takes to kill him. You know, he's looking for it so bad. He wants it so bad, but he's not going to get it. Yeah, I think Weezer and definitely was playing, you know, and was definitely on thin ice right there. Kind of just trying to approach, find an option. But, hey, Weezer gets the win. And that's just what happens when you get the big lead like that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, he started with that big lead, and Amuk Bob did his absolute best to bring it back. And he did do a pretty good job of doing that, but... Weezer just able to clean it up at the end. Just like, Kazuya has just so many KO options that like, at some point you're eventually gonna get like a down B. In that yeah, scenario. absolutely. And because again, that thing has armor. What what move know, Kazuya bro. has doesn't have armor. I swear, this guy has <laughs> literally can tank anything. That's put this I'm guy, <laughs> put this guy in the trenches, bro. <laughs> like he'll, he'll take anything. He is bulletproof. And we're gonna be moving on to game two is definitely a doable set for Amic Bob, but being down the game against a character like Kazuya is a little bit, it, it's a little bit difficult, man. Yeah. So it really does just come down to Amic Bob finding out, you know, the kinks in the armor, the chinks in the armor, and just, you know, picking out the right opportunities to approach, deal all this damage, because Weezer's not approaching whatsoever if he wants to, really. Yeah. It has been a very, um, very slow and just methodical game and it's probably going to continue to be that way yeah um so buckle in you know put put your popcorn in the microwave we've got an interesting game two coming up here yeah i'm curious to see what the counter pick is going to be we could see a run back to fd um i could also maybe see ps2 honestly mm. City. Okay. not a bad option i mean it's a good stage for both characters yeah again Smaller side blast zones mean that you're going to kill your opponent much easier. And it becomes FD after the platforms, uh, yeah. you know, move away. And I will say the blast zones on the ledge being a little bit smaller is going to benefit Sonic getting those, like, spin dash forward or KO. Oh, yeah. Getting a forward smash KO at, like, 20 if he wants to. Yeah. You know I know what we're I mean? fighting, but, like, this is basically just a button check. Yeah, I was going to say, are they button checking? <laughs> no, nah, it's definitely a... They're, yeah, but they're, mad. they're playing, they're playing. Yeah. One wants to play more than the other, of course, but <laughs> that's just the thing with Sonic is that you have to respect the fact that he's willing to play patient. He doesn't, he can play aggressive, sure, but patient play in this meta is just so overpowered. Yeah, and Amic Bob is really a warrior, but Weezer is as well, man. He's uh -oh. willing to go the distance as well and almost gets a KO immediately there, but Amic Bob just able to survive a little bit. Yeah, I wish we could get like a distance traveled meter. I know that's a thing <laughs> at the end, but they're not gonna, they're not gonna show it. Oh, I remember that. They had to use um, they had to use some of the stats um, for, in melee <laughs> because of the um, the ledge hogging rules. Because uh, remember back in 2019, Hungry Box yeah had to ledge stall in order to uh, beat Wizrobe. Yeah, it was that was a crazy time. That but was even crazier. Is I mean this game and the pace of this game because a man and a half has already gone by. Not a single stock is really even close to being taken. Um, and it is tough. He's really trying to get, Weezer's trying to get these grabs, just not working. Oh, big opportunity there, but I able to get it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. You were talking about that option, you were like, nah, it's not good, and then it comes out, and all of a sudden, it gets the kill. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. It, it, sometimes, that's just a Kazi experience, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, 
He is at 150, though, so Omnibob is primed for a KO at some point. He's gonna get very close, but no cigar just yet. The thing I'm noticing is that Weezer really isn't consistent with his combos. He's just getting, like, a few things that he knows. He's trying to go for that side B again. Yeah. But it's, like, he's he's definitely reliant on, you know, not a, a combo-heavy game, but more so or less oh. a neutral-based game. Right now, Omnibob is also trying to play that as well. Yeah, getting a good read on that side B right there. Again, we mentioned before the key is really going to be to reading these neutral options on the ground, especially on a really wide stage like Town City, where I think you have more like data to collect in terms of how your opponent's moving uh -oh. on the ground. But uh oh, good scary air dodge. situation. But the armor is going to let him go through that uh, up to prevent any further harm. And that's the thing, is because you, like, especially in those situations, you don't really have to waste your jump. All you gotta do is go down, go for the upbeat, because nothing's really gonna be able to punish that. Oh, yeah, for sure. It is gonna be tough to edge guard and ledge trap Kazuya, but Amikab will do what he can to do so if he doesn't get KO'd first. And uh, right now, again, we're back to a very neutral situation. I think during this FD transformation, that's when the game, like, really slows down to, like, a snail's pace. Oh, yeah. I mean, Methodical, obviously, is how they're playing, but we are just like, we are just waiting for the next yeah. <laughs> neutral win. At some point, thinking just doesn't work, you know? And yeah. so you gotta like kind of shut down your brain. You just gotta chill. You really do. Recharge. You gotta, you gotta, yeah, you gotta, you know, kind of lay back, just wait for your opponent, ride the waves, really. And right now, yeah. both players are trying to do that, but... I think Amic Bob is doing a pretty good job trying to just move around. Well, of course, with the, you know, better movement with the platform. He's yeah. trying to find these punishes. But again, to no avail. And yet, and despite being down a low bit percent, he's really not, like, he's not rushing. You know yeah. what I mean? He's willing to play patiently because he knows that if he just plays well, he is going to eventually find that KO, find oh. that neutral win. But if he gets caught slipping like that, if he plays a little bit impatiently, things could snowball. Yeah, and I mean, Amig Bob has been doing a good job, but just reading a lot of, you know, uh, uh, Weezer's attempts to get in and approach, especially with that yeah. down B. But again, it really is just back and forth. A war of attrition, nonetheless. Yeah, and Weezer's starting to call out these spin dashes just a little bit, and it that could definitely be the downfall for Amig Bob if that ends up being the case, because Weezer, you know, once he gets these reads, we know that his combo game is nasty at the early percents, but also just is able to get KOs at the high percent. It's very reliable. Yeah. Not killing yet on Town and City. We're talking about how both these characters could definitely kill early. It has uh, not well, been the case. It finally gets a 4 to kill, but yeah, two minutes left. Only one stock left for Weezer, but two stocks left for Amic Bob. We got another Dead. close match here. Here we go, man. This is going to be another close one. And we'll see how these two players approach these final minutes. If they approach at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so far they're approaching, honestly. Yeah. I think Omni Bob definitely just wants to get that, you know, ensure that he has that lead by just chipping away at yeah. Weezer. But that could definitely, you know, bite him in the back if Weezer can get these electrics. But it's yeah. just not working out for Weezer right now. We're down to almost 90 seconds. Yeah, and I feel like this might be the moment, like, if he gets him around 100%, maybe this is the moment where Omicrop goes for time, because, I mean, we have 90 seconds left. It is definitely looking good for Omicrop. There just, you go. He's getting hits. Uh-oh, no jump. No jump. Not going to get the two-frame. The Bob and Weave. The Bob and Weave. <laughs> he tried going for that, but I think he missed him putting the dash attack instead. Oh. oh that would have been nasty. That definitely would have done a lot of damage and put Omic Bob in disadvantage. But he still has it. He still has that rage drive. So that's definitely something you got to be careful of. Yeah. And I feel like Amic Bob, he's like playing for a win. But honestly, like, oh, you might just want to play for time. And I mean, that almost KO'd right there, man. Oh, but that's okay, going to kill that time. Whew. Well, stuff. We're going to have to tell Amic Bob about this a little bit later. <laughs> six, yeah. Six minutes down. Six minutes is just fine for Amic yeah. Bob. He's going to take us to a game three, man. Another game three set. You know, we had to come through with the interesting and close sets here on the stream. Yeah. All is fair play. All is fair game when it comes to this match. And even if it doesn't uh -huh. seem fair, that's just the <laughs> beauty of Smash <laughs> Yeah, man. You just got to embrace the chaos sometimes, you know.
in a matchup like this where things are just like so volatile, yeah, got embraced that and just like, yeah, I am gonna slow this down. I am gonna like maybe take this to time because I I got so much respect for what you can do to me, what you can, how you can mess me up, and you got respect for me as well. Like we gotta just like slow things down. Yeah, at some point it's you just gotta start disrespecting them. But I yeah. feel like both of these guys just want this win so much. That they're just willing to play it safe the entire time. Oh, for sure. And I think the times when they do get a little bit, quote unquote, I guess, disrespectful, I guess, disrespecting their options. Yeah, is yeah, like yeah. When you go for those bigger reads, like those forward smashes or those side beats of Fercasia. Um, But we're back to FD, man. How do you feel about this counter? Again, this is somewhere where Weezer had one last time. So it's definitely a solid uh, choice because now you don't have those platforms that allow Amig Bob to move yeah. around much better. Because Town and City, he was kind of just not even circle camping, just kind of jumping around where Weezer can't really uh, reach. And so, again, a smart, smart choice by Weezer. Yeah, those platforms were a really big part in Amig Bob's victory last game. So it definitely makes sense that Weezer would kind of pick back to FD. It is interesting that Amig Bob didn't ban the stage, but at the same time, this is very good for Sonic still. So you can't blame him entirely. Yeah. But right now, both players. Well, specifically, Amig Bob is trying to play around the corner as well, giving Ooh. Weezer center stage. So that's I'm definitely yeah, almost missed, gets the read. But the fact that he's letting Weezer get center stage, or it's it's an interesting choice. Yeah, I think Amig Bob likes to play these corners, to just dash out of them, which has mostly worked out. But we're seeing Weezer start to call it out just a little bit more and take advantage of that center stage space. Which is why. I mean, oh. right now the um, percentages are even, but before that. Um, Weezer was honestly like having a little bit of a lead there. Yeah, and again, center stage is just the name of the game right now for Weezer. And granted, Sonic is just able to, you know, get out of those corners with ease. So yeah. it's it's what works for you, you know? Yeah, and this one, if you, oh wow, okay. Do that's it too be, many times. Oh wow, the snipe not going to get it. Down there. No. Very close to a KO though. Amon Cobb's really got to watch out. That was a risky gap attack, but he is going to survive to see another day. Let's see if Amon Bob can take advantage of the second lease on life. Weezer, the so close to getting a KO, but Amon Bob moving like a super heavyweight right now. It feels like he's Bowser with how much he's living. Yeah, that's crazy because, again, Sonic is a character that tends not to live very long and also doesn't kill, especially against a character like Kazuya. But we're talking about his second lease of life. Eventually, every lease is going to have to be paid off. And right yeah. there, Amon Bob pays the price and loses that stock. Oh, and right he's now, paying it's looking more dangerous. the price. 60% on Amic Bob, 80% with that back air. Bro got hit with inflation. Yeah, <laughs> he is getting hit by oh, a lot right no. now, and it is a massive lead for Weezer right now. This has turned south very quickly for Amic Bob. Let's see if he can make his comeback, but wow, that was a dominant segment by Weezer right there. That's the thing, when you drop the ball against a character like Kazuya, that's just what you expect to see. Yeah. Especially from a sound player like Weezer. Yeah, Weezer is the type of player that can just make things snowball so quickly. He thrives on having lead. Mm -hmm. He thrives on having the ability to be like, you know what, I got the momentum, I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna really mess you up with these Kazuya combos. Yeah, he also has rage, so a lot more damage is definitely gonna be dealt, but I think Bob needs to find the stock soon, because. You can't really be playing patient now. You you just have to get in and find a hit. Yeah, but it is going to be really tough because you don't want to lose neutral once and then get hit for, like, 50. I right mean, that right there, that, <laughs> that literally did 50. Um, so it's really tough to sort of have that balance between playing patient around these attacks but also trying to be aggressive to push the pace yeah. a little bit. And I like that Weezer is actually approaching with Nair because that is able to, you know, cancel out and beat out Spin Dash. So yeah. Omni Buff hasn't been able to spot that. You're not going to die there just yet, but you're at kill percentage. Can Omni Buff at least find a stock and maybe mount a comeback? Yeah, this is looking like a potential three stock. And there's only three minutes left. Omni Buff only has so much time to make a comeback, even if he, like, finds a way to take two stocks. That's one. <laughs> now, that is one. We'll see what happens here, though. Weezer taking his full time on the Angel platform. You know that he's going for time. Yeah, that was a good dash if he, attack. If, if not for, like, if not for any. Yeah, exactly. Of course, when when you're at this much of a lead against a character like Sonic, at this point, it's just, you know, not even, what's it called? It's just in spite that you are camping <laughs> him out now. <laughs> yeah, but Weezer's also, like, kind of playing a chill because he literally just needs one hit. Yeah. Like, right there. 
And there you go. <laughs> Commentator's curse or blessing? Who can tell? We'll see, but we are able to close out game three quite nicely. Amic Bob gonna lose in that game three scenario, but still a solid performance by him nevertheless. Mm -hmm. Weezer, man, he he stuck through it. He really he did. powered it out, and that's where we see him thrive. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and it, again, it was one of those things where Amic Bob just stopped playing the, 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 the play style that was working out so well for him. And the moment that Weezer found that, you know, opening, he made sure that every hit count, and that's how he got that second stock in, like, under a minute. That's yeah, how that's explosive that character true. is. Like, we saw that, uh, that, that jab right there, just a little jab off of just a little overextension and it got KO right there and that is really going to be a key thing to Weezer gang that victory. Yeah. As we're seeing with this game right here, like, you know, they're playing so patient, but Weezer, he has so much momentum that he's able to just kind of chill, mm -hmm. you know? And even when it gets to a very close situation here, he again doesn't feel rushed and just finds the opportunity yeah. to get the downbeat. And that's the thing that a lot of players don't tend to know about this game is that when you have the lead, you don't need to approach at all. It's like with every character, you can pretty much just play patiently. It's whether or not that player is willing to do so um, to yeah. win. But some players, you know, they're like, oh, I I'm for this hype play. <laughs> it, it, the hype play sometimes doesn't get the result, and the result matters the most. Yeah, but we're able to see that fourth match right there take game two. And then after that, man, after taking this stock right here, Weezer just found an opening, and he just went straight to work. Yeah, and even though he wasn't able to connect his string, just gets straight hits off, just does so much damage, and was able to get that down B and really sealed the set, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I mean, like, that's the thing about Kazuya. It's not just that he has crazy combos, it's that each hit of those combos does so much damage. <laughs> Literally. So you don't even have to get a perfect combo, and you'll still be getting, like, 40 or 50%. Yeah, so Amic Bob now down to loser side in a valiant effort, and Weezer going to move on, but... Again, that's what I was talking about. You know, these very, very close seated players yep. really do tend to bring out the best of the best. Yeah. And so the fact that Amic Bob is going down to the losers, whoever gets him next is going to have an absolute nightmare. Not because he's playing <laughs> Sonic, but the fact that Amic Bob is such a solid player. Yeah, in he's really good. Nah, I, I got a lot of respect for Amic Bob. That's my guy right there. But Weezer as well. We got to give two credit to him. Played really well in that set.